So we can use the equation a equals v minus u over t to use the information on this graph to calculate the acceleration of this object at each stage of its journey. So we're going to start off with the first line of the graph. So we're firstly going to identify u and v, the initial velocity and the final velocity. So here u is 0 meters per second. That is the initial velocity of the car, it was stationary. And it increased its velocity to v. And it took this car six seconds to accelerate from zero to 30 meters per second. So now what we're going to do is recall the equation a equals v minus u over t. Now we substitute in the numbers. So a equals v, which is 30 meters per second, minus u, which is zero meters per second. So the time it took to change its velocity from zero to 30 meters per second was six seconds. Six seconds. So now you do 30 meters per second minus zero meters per second. That's the change in velocity. So that's 30 meters per second divided by six seconds. That will give you an acceleration of five meters per second. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So we're now going to calculate the acceleration of the object between 6 seconds and 18 seconds of the journey. So this is no longer the final velocity. This is now u, the initial velocity. Initial velocity of 30 meters per second. So it's going to be a final velocity of 30 meters per second. And at 18 seconds before the car decelerates, that is the final velocity of this part of the graph. So the time it was traveling at 30 meters per second at a constant velocity was 18 seconds minus 6 seconds, which gives you a time of 12 seconds. So now you recall the equation a equals v minus u over t, and now you substitute in the numbers. So it's going to be a final velocity of 30 meters per second minus a initial velocity of 30 meters per second divided by 12 seconds. So the change in velocity is 0 meters per second divided by 12 seconds gives you an acceleration of 0 meters per second squared car is not accelerating because the velocity does not change. So as you can see here, the car is accelerating. There is acceleration because the velocity is changing over time. And here there is a constant velocity. The car's velocity is not changing, so there is no acceleration. So we're now going to calculate the acceleration between 18 seconds and 20 seconds. So 30 meters per second is no longer the final velocity. It is the initial velocity u. v, the final velocity, is 0 meters per second. So the car went from 30 meters per second to 0 meters per second in 2 seconds. And the time is 20 seconds minus 18 seconds, which is 2 seconds. So the car went from 30 meters per second to 0 meters per second in 2 seconds. So to work out the acceleration, you recall the equation a equals v minus u over t. You substitute in the numbers a equals, now remember this, v is 0 meters per second minus the initial velocity u, which is 30 meters per second, divided by 2 seconds. So the change in velocity is minus 30 meters per second, minus 30, divided by 2 seconds. That gives you an acceleration of minus 15 meters per second squared. This is a negative acceleration, which means the car is decelerating. So the car is decelerating because there is a negative acceleration. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. 
Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.